I do hope you're in the best of spirits today. And if you're not, you could be. All you have to do is look outside and thank God for all this heavenly glory that he bestowed on us because it wasn't promised to us, it was given. And I also thank God for having wonderful people like you here watching me today. And I know it's been a while and I do apologize, but we were in the process of moving and now we are in Ohio. Today's video, I'm going to take you to a place that I used to work at when I was 17 years old. I was a dishwasher. Now the building is no longer there, but the building, I wish they would have kept it because it did have some history to it. And a lot of you, if you're in the Akron area or even in Coventry, you'll know the restaurant I'm talking about. And I'm going to tell you a little story behind it, at least on my part of what I used to see going on there. And I'd love to have you with me. Now, before we start, I'm hoping that you did hit that like button. I really do appreciate you if you did. I really do. And please, by all means, join us. Be part of our family. And all you have to do is subscribe. With all that said, it all starts now. spot that I'm at the restaurant Young's used to actually sit and this was the parking lot and as you can see the restaurant is no longer here the restaurant was built back in the 1850s and I remember distinctly when I was working here as a teenager I was 17 years old and I was a dishwasher and I used to come out here and smoke my cigarette and look at the lake. And it was just beautiful just to look at, at night especially. Now this place is also where I got my first paranormal experience. And I say that because I was only 17. So this was my actual paranormal experience, but at the time, I really didn't think a whole lot of it because of the fact that, you know, the building had a lot of history to it. And, uh, well, I'm going to tell you what happened to me when I was working in this building. The year was 1979. Actually, I will take that back. It was 1980. And I was working here as a dishwasher. And I remember the manager used to have me go upstairs and take stuff or even bring stuff you know to the top um, which is where the uh, restaurant was or the storage room 
And so I would take stuff and put it inside the storage room. And when I'm up there, I would hear like people walking. And I knew the restaurant or the hotel part was closed. So I was always wondering how is it that people are up here walking? And so I didn't think nothing of it. Until one day, the manager asked me if I would do him a favor and go back up there. And I had to go grab some paper cups and stuff like that because it was a party coming in. So I said, no problem. So I went up there and uh, I went to grab the paper cups. And the one door that I went in, that uh, it would not open for me. It was like jammed shut. And we didn't keep the door locked. So I went out another door, which meant that I had to go through the hotel. So as I'm walking through the hotel, which was pitch dark, and the only thing that you could see was the exit lights. And you would hear people talking in the hotel. So I told the manager, hey, uh, I think there's people inside the hotel part because I heard people talking and I couldn't get out the door that I went through when I first went inside. So he followed me inside and we both went into uh, the storage area and the door opened for us with no problem. So we walked through and then we walked through the hotel part and then he noticed it himself and said, wait, that's crazy. There shouldn't be nobody in here. So we walked around to see where the people were and there were nobody in there. Now, mind you, at this time, I was 17 years old and I didn't believe in ghosts or anything like that. And you couldn't get me to believe it. But the manager kept telling me how the place must be haunted. And I just kept telling him, yeah, right. And I believe now what I heard was true. It was haunted. But at the time, I didn't really know what to do about it. This was back in 1980s, you know. And again, I was just a kid. So what am I gonna do? But if I, if I knew now what I didn't know then, things would be a little different. Actually, I might even got that backwards. But that's the story that I had on my experience working at this restaurant. I worked at this restaurant for about three years. Now the restaurant um, folded up in 2004. And the thing that I couldn't understand is why they didn't make it an historical landmark. Instead they just tore it down. I just found that really weird. Now, like I said, the restaurant had closed up in 2004, and I believe they tore it down sometime, sometime around a year or two later. Why they didn't keep it as an historical landmark, I don't know. But they should have, because uh, it had a lot of history to it. It was a beautiful restaurant, and so was the hotel. So why they didn't keep it, your guess is as good as mine. Look at how beautiful this is, though. Isn't this beautiful? Right on the lake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a spirit box session to see if, if there's any residual energy still here, just out of curiosity. And I wanna show you this, this pole right here, because I should not get anything off of that because that pole does not even work. It's not connected to anything. They, as a matter of fact, you can see that the pole is disconnected. So I should not get any kind of energy reading off of this pole whatsoever. I'm gonna start off by doing an EMF meeting to see if I get any kind of reading out here. Is there anybody here that like to talk to me? What is, let me move from this spot because I really can't call that paranormal. And I don't know if you can see with the sunlight, I'm gonna try to turn around. 
Now this spot that I'm on is where the restaurant actually sat on this ground. There. Is there anybody here that would like to talk to me? I should not get no kind of reading in here whatsoever. Are you still here in the restaurant? Do you remember me when I used to work here? Is there anybody that like to talk? You do? Well, I'd like to hear your story. Are you a member of the hotel? Did you die in this hotel? Did you die in the lake? All you have to do is raise that up. Well, thank you, whoever it is that came through earlier. I think you might maybe residual. We're going to find out. Now we're going to try a brief spirit box session just to see if anybody is here. Just a brief one. Is there anybody here that'd like to talk to me? I come to you at 11 light, I mean no disrespect to you.
to go. You cannot follow me home or you'll have to pay rent. But God bless you. I wish you a peaceful journey. Well, we came and got what we could, and I'm going to go home and analyze this and call it a day, but I think whatever's here is residual, so it's going to continue doing what's doing whether I'm here or not, and it doesn't matter whether it's day or night, you know, so we're just going to go home and see what we got. In the meantime, just enjoy this moment. that's a wrap I do hope you enjoyed today's video and before I give my final view I want to give a shout out to some wonderful wonderful people that actually helped us with not just our trip but also for the gas I'm going to go and make this video so I want to give a shout out real quick to Mr. Shelton thank you Mr. Shelton God bless you you are so wonderful and thank you so much for your donation I also want to give a shout out to Sherry Hayes Thank you, Sherry. God bless you. Actually, I might have pronounced your name wrong. I believe it's Haynes. But either way, thank you so much. God bless you. We really do appreciate you. I uh, want to give a shout out to Sef Stephanie Ferret. Thank you so much, Stephanie. God bless you. And we really do appreciate your donation. We really do. I want to give a shout out also to the Elias family. God bless you. Thank you so much for your donation that did not go unnoticed. And to Miss Rachel Hoyle, of course, thank you so much for your donation also. And let's not forget Miss Gigi Khan. Thank you so much for your donation. And then there's a couple others that's been donating to us. I'm going to put right here. Well, I'm going to even say who they are. And that is the Garza family again. Thank you so much. God bless you. We really do appreciate you. And you are just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. And I want to send a shout out to the Lane family. Thank you so much, Lane family, for your donation. Really does, uh, it, it really does help. And it really did help. Believe me. And like I said before, give because you want to, not because you had to. Just being part of our family is giving enough. But we do appreciate it. And it does help with our journeys. And now for my final view. 
Now, I know the election is over and um, whether you voted for Biden or voted for Trump, just all I want is for everyone to be happy. That's all. That's all I want is just for you to be happy. Walk outside with a smile on your face. I'm not political and I'm not going to start. But I just want you to be happy with your constituents. Whoever you voted for. And even if uh, you didn't vote for the other, it's okay. We love you regardless. So you don't have to have our vote. Actually, I vote to have you as part of our family. Because you are so wonderful. You really are. And don't let anybody tell you anything different. Because you are the most wonderful person in the world. And the only thing I want you to do is keep living enjoying life that's all I want you to do keep being you and you're still gonna shine regardless so you don't need no vote on that just keep doing it and that smile looks good on you don't let nobody tell you anything different it really does so what's your story I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, like I said before, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of our family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. And I keep it uh, pink as my salute to breast cancer awareness. And share our videos if you like. We really appreciate that too. But more importantly, we appreciate you for watching really do if it's not for you we wouldn't exist and I thank you all so much for the 50,000 views I know it's not a big deal and I, especially to a big youtuber they're probably like oh yeah so what you know but for me it is because it's a landmark that I didn't think we could even pass and we did and it's because of people like you that keep watching us that I'll keep going out and doing these things that I'm doing. So I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of my wife and my kids' heart. Thank you so much. So until next time, stay wonderful because you are already blessed.